Yes, there is no doubt there is a measure of success in this life, but true success and ultimate success and attaining it has nothing to do with this life at all. Everyone shall taste death. And only on the day of resurrection shall you be paid your wages in full. And whoever is removed away from the fire and admitted to paradise, he indeed is successful. This is your main objective as a Muslim. Your objective is to reach Jannah. The life after death is everlasting life in paradise or everlasting life in the hellfire. So it is infinitely more important than the temporary life of this world. The life of this world is nothing but a game and some temporary amusement. It is only a deceptive temporary enjoyment. So if we compare the everlasting life of paradise to the temporary life of this world, we actually see that what really matters is the next life, not this one. Now we're not taking away from success in this life. I don't want to take away from the fact that you want to have a good job, you want to have a good education, you want to have a feeling of contentment. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong is to sacrifice the hereafter for the sake of that temporary success. What is more important to you? Everlasting life in the hereafter or the temporary amount of money that happens to be in your bank account on any one particular day? As a Muslim, the priority has to be the hereafter. And the priority has to be realizing that this life was created as a test, not as a paradise. The one who created death and life in order to test which of you are best in deeds. Use the limited time that you have now to earn success in the hereafter. All you who believe, protect yourself from the punishment of Allah and let every person look what you put forward for tomorrow. And protect yourself from the punishment of Allah.